Um, obviously, like everyone has saw on the news, um, sort of the, the devastating the scenes from Ukraine and the enforced sort of mass uh, migration of people being forced from their homes from, from the war. Um, and I just wanted to see if there's any sort of way I could help it directly uh, uh, and get involved using our skill set. That might be of use. I got in touch via a Facebook group of someone who was in Izrod, just across the Slovakia border, uh, and they were sort of coordinating supplies um, and also sort of attached to a refugee centre. Um, so that's where I sort of went from there. Um, I fly to Kosice um, in Slovakia from Luton. Uh, so I drive up on Sunday evening. Uh, the flight gets in quite late, so I'll stay in Kosice overnight. Uh, and then there's a bus from Kasicha to, to the border of Isrod. Uh, so that, that's the current plan. <laughs> I've got obviously emergency care uh, uh, experience and, and primary care experience and also sort of minor injuries as well. So it covers quite a large area of med medical expertise. So whether it's, you know, whether it's seeing the trauma side of things and pre hospital care or whether it's seeing people with, you know, pneumonias, infections, et cetera, you know, and cover the all areas really so if it's in a paramedical type role it may be i'm guessing it might be clearing casualties from like a casualty clearing station where they've been evacuated to a certain point and they may need transfer to some more secondary care facility uh, if i'm involved more with the primary care side whether that's based at a, a refugee center or uh, some sort of field hospital type type setting i think it depends where where that setting falls when i get there from the trauma blast injuries to um you know affecting people being uh you know traveling long distances in in bad conditions not having their medicines um and, and close proximity with infections so it, yeah. yeah it's really anything <laughs> also i was in the army sort of from 1995 to 2000 and we went to places like uh i went to bosnia and northern ireland um, I wasn't a medic at that time, so it is seeing things from a slightly different side, but obviously you're seeing the effects of sort of conflict. Um, so I, I suppose it's using some of that experience and obviously uh, I spent 17 years on the ambulance service, with the ambulance service, so you're seeing a lot of, um, you know, trauma and hurt through that as well. So it's, it's, it's hopefully using those experiences. Three weeks I've got really the window. Um, I mean, work have been kind of health have been you know fantastic and giving me arranging shifts giving me the time off as well as what I'm doing it's, it's hard on my family my, uh, my wife works for out of hours as well um and obviously got three children so it's going to be hard for them when just dealing with normal life uh back here <laughs> for, for me it's very you know once, once you're there all the normal sort of noise of normal life sort of goes a bit you're kind of you're there doing what you're doing you don't you're not you don't have to get involved with school runs, walking the dogs, things mm -hmm. going wrong in the house, sort of thing. So, yes, yeah, my wife's without my wife's support as well. And like I say, she's been, she works for out of hours as well.